What is up guys, Juan Quinones here. For those of you guys who don't know me personally, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. My name is Juan Quinones. I'm 18 years old and I dropped out of high school one year ago. He did what? <laughs> This might come as a slight shock to a lot of you, but school just wasn't for me. Ever since I can remember, my parents, teachers, friends, everyone around me asked me one question. What do you want to be when you grow up? I didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, how can anyone know which one job they're going to stick to for the rest of their lives? That's insane. I mean, that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody like... What if you choose the wrong job and you hate it? Fast forwarding into high school, I started asking teachers one very simple question. How is what you're teaching me here today going to help me in the real world? Unsurprisingly enough, all of them pretty much gave me a pretty similar answer. This might not help you in life, but it will help you pass this test. Or, I don't know, but they want us to teach you this. They? Who are they? By my sophomore year, I'd come up with a conspiracy theory that the entire school system was one big scam. They weren't teaching us to be successful. They were teaching us to be modern day slaves or robots. I mean, think about it. Like clockwork, Monday through Friday, you wake up early, you go to school, you sit down at a desk for seven hours every single day, and you do whatever work is in front of you without asking any questions. Sound familiar? From my sophomore year to my junior year, I stopped looking at school as a place to learn, and I started looking at it as a place to make money. I started bringing 50 pound duffel bags full of candy to school to sell to my friends. After school, I was working at a juice bar from 6 to 12 p.m. Between school and work, I was getting exactly five hours of sleep every single night. Naturally, I started falling asleep in my classes. By the middle of my junior year, my teacher set up a parent and teacher conference concerning my grades. Pretty much, they called my parents in and just told them a bunch of things to scare them into believing that I was going to become a street bum if I didn't pass my classes. Obviously, my parents believed every single word of it because I'm not sure if you knew this, but all teachers are psychics and they can see into the future and see exactly where you're going to end up in life. Well, I guess they didn't meet Juan Quinones. They don't know who I am. I mean, back then, I didn't even know who I was. Needless to say that I was very lost. Fast forwarding into the last three months of school, I decided I was going to skip class every single day, skate to a local Starbucks, and watch videos on my phone on how to succeed in life. At this point in my life, I was very lost, and these teachers were supposed to be my mentors. They were supposed to be steering me in the right direction, but obviously that wasn't the case, so I decided I was going to look for mentors online. And thanks to that brilliant idea, I ran into cool people like Tony Robbins, Jason Capital, and Joshua Pellissier. These guys were pretty much pointing me in the right direction and telling me, you know, this is what you need to do if you want to succeed in life. And they were giving me actual practical advice, not like, oh yeah, work hard, succeed, you know? One day while I was searching for more videos, I stumbled upon four channels that completely blew me away and changed my perspective on everything. It was Jay Alvarez, Round 3 Media, Sam Colder, and High on Life. These guys were traveling around the world, having fun, and getting paid to do it. This to me was completely amazing. This, this was a game changer because when I was watching their videos, like I truly felt like I was watching someone else's lucid dream. And that inspired me to buy my first action camera. <laughs> this exact camera. I started recording my days after school and editing all of the videos on my phone because I didn't have a computer back then. Within the first two weeks of filming, out of the hundreds of thousands of jobs out there, I finally found this one thing that was truly making me happy and it was truly exciting for me. Fast forwarding into the end of my junior year, summer had just begun and I got a job as a personal driver. I started saving up a little bit of money and Finally, when I had enough money, I spent $12,000 on camera equipment to do YouTube full time. I decided this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Am I crazy? Probably. But if being sane means that I have to live in a world where boring 9 to 5 jobs are the way of life, then I'm fine with being crazy and doing exactly what I want to do.
Now, I have no idea how I'm going to go from talking in front of a camera in this room to traveling around the world making adventure videos full time, but this is me figuring it out. My name is Juan Quinones and welcome to the vlog series. Welcome to the vlog series. 